Good morning, world. Hello, everyone, everywhere. Pastor Robert Thibodeau here with another session of prayer 2021 for today, which is June 20th. Our scripture reading for today comes from Jeremiah chapter 10, verse 23. Lord, I know that people's lives are not their own. It is not for them to direct their steps. Let's go to the Lord with a word of prayer. Heavenly Father, in Jesus' name, we thank you and praise you that we know you are the one who is directing our steps. Before the world began, you already planned out our whole day. Father, we thank you and praise you that every step we take is led by your Holy Spirit. We pray this in the name of Jesus so that your will may be done in this earth just as it is in heaven. We yield ourselves to the promptings of your Holy Spirit to take us in front of the people you want us to witness to, to lead us down the paths you want us to take, to accomplish all that you want us to do this day and every day in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Now, we've been studying these last several sessions about the Holy Spirit and prayer, and we've been looking at Romans chapter 8, verse 26, basically is our foundational scripture for these studies, among others. But I want to draw your attention to something that has blessed me immensely over the years, and maybe it will bless you as well. In Romans 8, 26, it says, the Spirit also helpeth our infirmities. Now, what the heck does that mean? Well, I decided to ask the Lord and find out. Amen. And the Greek word that I studied out, I am not a Greek scholar. I am not going to try and pronounce these words and, and pretend that I'm saying them right. But let's just say, uh, you know, I'm not a Greek scholar and I don't play one on television. Amen. YouTube or podcast. Amen. But the Greek word literally means to take hold together with and against. So this scripture literally says the Holy Spirit helps take hold together with us in prayer against our infirmities. Amen. Now, whatever that infirmity may be, sickness, disease, you know, cancer, headaches, toothaches, ingrown toenails, or whatever, it does not matter if the infirmity is physical, like sickness. It does not matter if it's mental, like depression. It does not matter if it's spiritual, like demonic possession. The Holy Spirit of the Most High God comes together with your spirit man takes hold together against that infirmity. Praise God. Don't shout me down when I'm preaching good. You missed a good place to shout amen right there. Glory to God. Now, let's say I needed a help move. I needed, let's say a couch. Let's say I have to, I, I need to move a couch out of my basement area downstairs and load it onto a truck. So I'll call my grandson to come over and help. I'm expecting him to come over and do what? take hold with me on that couch, help me overcome the weight of that thing, and get it up the stairs and out of the house. Amen? Well, if you have any infirmity and ask the Holy Spirit to help, he will do the same thing. He will come along with you and help you to get that infirmity out of your house, your spiritual house, which is your body, which is called what? The temple of the Holy Spirit, right? Who dwells within you. Praise God. I pray you're getting this. Glory to God. I want to pray with you right now that you will invite the Holy Spirit into your life. If you have not done so already, you're missing. Oh, you're missing out on so many spiritual blessings. It truly is, is. It should be a requirement for salvation, but God didn't go that far. Amen. That's just Pastor Bob talking. But I want to pray that the Holy Spirit will help you to identify those infirmities that have been plaguing you and that you and he will work together, overcome and cast out those infirmities out of your life forever. Amen. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you for the Holy Spirit in our lives that has come into our hearts, baptizing us in the power of God. And Father, we thank you that with the Holy Spirit's help, we know what to pray. Although we don't know what to pray as we ought, you do. And through him, through this heavenly language of speaking in tongues, the Holy Spirit himself 
comes alongside and helps us with our infirmities. Praise you, Jesus, for making it all possible. Thank you, Father, for making it possible. And most of all, we thank you, Jesus, for our salvation. We thank you for the forgiveness of sins. We thank you for the gift of everlasting life. And again, we thank you for the Holy Spirit in our hearts. Father, we give you honor and glory and praise in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Glory to God. Uh, if, do me a favor, leave a rating down below, comment down below, uh, go over on iTunes, leave a rating review there. Help us get the word out about this Prayer 21, 2021 Bible study about prayer that's been going on all year long. And, you know, your ratings really do help. It, people read them and it just shows the search engines on the internet that, hey, people like this, this Bible study and we need to show it to more people. And that's something that the internet doesn't do all by itself. We need your help to do it. Amen. And be sure to visit our website, podcastforchrist.com, if you have or are thinking of starting your own Christian podcast, because there's free resources right there. And that's what we're all about, is getting the word out. Amen. So until next time, it's Pastor Bob reminding you again from 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 17 in the Living Bible to always keep on praying. Be blessed, folks. Talk to you tomorrow.